What's up guys, it's your boy Swayze Baby and welcome back, I missed you guys. Before the video starts, smash the thumbs up button and welcome to Cooking with Swayze and Nat. Hello, I'm Nat. And I'm Swayze. Oh! <laughs> But as you tell by the title, today we are doing a cook-off. We decided to start easy, but your boy wants to do a bunch of cook-offs because I want to show off my beautiful chef skills versus my amazing girlfriend, Natalie. So how this is going to work is whatever the top comment is, we're going to have a cook-off and we will have a beautiful cook-off. Before the video starts, comment down below. Today we are doing burgers. Oh! And your boy's nickname was Burgers. Growing up, I ate a lot of burgers. Natalie, you have no chance. Okay. And don't think like, oh, now you're too good for everyone. Like, like, right? Right. Correct. Correct. So, boy went to the store. We have every single ingredient. Once again, comment down below, and <clears throat> Natalie's gonna go first. Smash the like button, subscribe to your boy, and follow your boy on IG. Are you ready, bitch? Yeah. I thought you weren't ready. <laughs> you went like 20 minutes saying that you weren't ready. So <laughs> why are you lying to the people? I'm gonna start off with this big chunk of meat. <laughs> I'm gonna make two small, very skinny patties. Ooh, two. You're going with the double burger. I'm going to. What am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> Some vitamin magnesium in there. <laughs> So, a lot of people put onions on a burger, but I'm gonna put it in the burger. Ooh. And you're probably like, that's freaking disgusting. <laughs> it might be. So, cut it very skinny, guys. Skinny? Why can't we cut it thick? Oh my god, guys. Public apology. I'm sorry. I'm here trying to film a cook off. Natalie is fully fat shaming everyone. Like, come on. Big is beautiful. Yeah, it is. And I just want to small that money. Can I just <laughs> get my small diced onion? Is this cross contamination? Like, not really, right? <laughs> onion? Oh, so this is where you're gonna mix it, I guess? Yummy, um, you guys. Comment down below how appetizing that looks. Some people would get bowls to mix stuff. I don't know why I didn't get a bowl. I don't think she knows what she's doing. She's I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> she's kind of going with the flow. But that's my problem. <laughs> We're gonna put some cayenne pepper because nice cayenne pepper. I like everything hot. Mm, I love your mixing bowl. It actually looks so As you can see, I made it into a little bed. Doing the presentation before the presentation. Yummy guys. This looks so good. Nice. The big chunks of onion just coming out of the burger. I don't know what's bigger. This clip because Natalie's taking forever or these pieces of onion. Nice. I try to cut them small. Welcome to Cooking with Swayze and Natalie, ladies and gentlemen. Can you make a proper name for this cooking show? Comment down below, Swayze and that was um, Natalie's idea. What would you give it? Name it. I would call it Natalie's and Rye's show. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's supposed to be burgers. I do not it's know why those burger. are super round. This girl thinks we're doing who can make the best spaghetti, my girl. What the heck is this? Don't you just squish it on the pan? Welcome to Cooking with Swayze and that, ladies and gentlemen. My girl's burger looks exactly like the tomato. Are these your, I, I don't know the difference between you your worry burgers and this me? avocado and tomato. It's not working. Okay, <laughs> can you relax? This girl's playing the drums. The number one girls don't play with food. Bro, what are you talking about, man? We're gonna pull our burgers out there, but not the best part, our buns. Actually, no, we can wear buns. Let's fry our burgers. All right, guys, so as you can see, Natalie put hers on super high. I don't know, because I always watch, like, Ryan's cooking videos, and they like when it sizzles, but this shit is not gonna sizzle. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> guys, listen to that nice sizzle. <laughs> shit. Yeah. That's good. That's crazy. Come on, put the other one. Look at it pop. Look, the oil's popping, but ladies and gentlemen. When are you supposed to smash the burger? I don't think it's smashing anymore. What'd you say? I need another pan. Oh, yeah, I think you need another plate because the buns are just on the dirty table, you know? Edit the sizzling sound to when I first put it in. Oh, okay, now it's actually sizzling. That actually looks good. On super high heat still. Oh, You're going yeah. for a little crispy feel, no? Oh yeah, we gotta cook the inside, I forget. What? Oh, you see here comes the smash and burger. Mmm, that's nice. This one has a little pump. <laughs> the burger has a little vagina. We're equal, guys. Not only is Natalie oh. equal sizing the burgers, this one's a male and this one's a nice little female. <laughs> Natalie's burger 
It's fucking dumb sweet. I swear on that. Guys, at first I was very confused. I'm like, why the hell does the utensil holder come with this? Like, what the fuck is that? I know what it's for now. You never used a uh, nice little um, what? sauce breader. Is what sauce? is it? What's it called? <laughs> a you sauce don't even breader. Know what it's called. <laughs> Comment down below if you guys know what this is called. I call it a sauce breader. A brush. A food brush, maybe. A cooking brush. Bread brush. A <laughs> brush. So we're just gonna pass this on like this because we need some flavor. If my food is burnt, it's okay because I like it burnt. The more burnt, the better, right, Ryan? Right. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I burned my butt. <laughs> Welcome to Living with Sweets and that, okay. ladies and gentlemen. It's burnt. It's so yeah. It's not burnt, guys. Burnt is in the eye oh. of the beholder. Why? You're saying there's something wrong with it being a little too dark? No. I love Are it. you crazy? What is going on, guys? I, your boys are trying to have a cookout. Holy shit. Okay, so I learned my lesson. I put it on low. You guys can see here, and at least burgers actually look pretty good. The oil is looking dumb dark. like. No, that's because the onions and the drizzle caramelized. Oh, the caramelized onions that are not even in there. Okay, <laughs> nice. I just bought this spicy chipotle sauce, okay? Oh. <laughs> and we're gonna go back again. Ew, that sounds dutty. <laughs> oh, nice, the the one you use the butter on, you're just gonna put it with Yeah, those. because it's more flavor. Flavor, oh. I wanna use this lettuce, but I don't wanna take it out, so I don't think I'm gonna use it. Uh, there's a lot of YouTube videos going on, this might be Rookie versus pro, like rookie versus pro, you know what I mean? Like, whatever Natalie's doing, guys, don't do it at home. But she is a good drawer, she made that, she made our painting. But cooking, holy smokes, what the fuck is she doing? Look at this chef board, guys, nice and organized, always keep it. Wow. Ooh, this actually doesn't look that bad. It doesn't look bad, what do you mean, <laughs> not that bad? Why do you look so disappointed, Ryan? Can I help you with something? Mm, yummy. Yeah, I made a Big Mac with the tomato being the middle bun. Yeah. I was gonna say shut up my vegetarians would like this, but there's a pound of meat on this. The thing is... I think like it's, it actually low-key doesn't look that bad on camera, and it's kind of like a bootleg McDouble. McDouble. You know, we were kind of going for a Gordon Ramsay, but you oh. kind of went for McDouble. No, I went for affordable. Um, I'm not gonna put... I'm gonna try... Come on, come on, please turn out nicely. That's the best thing I've done all this video. This whole video. Yo, those avocados actually look crazy. Oh. Ooh, stacking the burger high, I see. Yeah, how's that shit gonna work? <laughs> How am I gonna eat this? Stuff you don't want to hear from a chef. Oh. And the nice, big, huge piece of lettuce on there. Nice. Okay. The big, huge, dutty piece of tomato and the like... huge. <laughs> <laughs> You know this ain't like a speed cooking challenge, like we have time, you know. Guys, this is more than videos, these are life lessons. Do not be indecisive as a chef, cook whatever you want. Okay, there's my burger. And you're done! Ooh, that low-key doesn't look as bad. It looks juicy though. I would say that a nice little tropical rainforest, I like how the, Yeah, uh... that's where I really want it. <laughs> you I really want that, the huge tropical... piece of lettuce just falling over? Yeah, and look, this is over. a tree hanging. <laughs> that's the river. <laughs> Okay, not bad, guys. <laughs> I took a bite out of the bun. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Yummy, so um, let's try this. Looks, I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10. Nice steamed burger. If I got this, I wouldn't be mad, but a little burnt, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so we got Natalie's burger right here, the tropical rainforest. As you can see, it droops down. I like the theme. Her cooking style, a little indecisive, didn't know what she was doing. I didn't even understand her half the video, but it does not about the process, it's about the end result. So this low-key looks good. The tomato is huge, bruh. Um, you should know I don't like tomatoes. Even though you made this for yourself, it's like, look how thick the tomato is. Oh! <laughs> this girl cut the tomato in half and put it on the burger. <laughs> Oh my god! Okay, I've got the thinnest part of the tomato with the most meat. Uh, pause, but let's try this out. Mmm. Thank god it's cooked. More stuff you don't want to hear from your truck, but... It's actually cooked, guys. That was actually really good. If we were filming, who can make the best meatloaf? The meat is amazing. The sauce, couldn't really taste it, because now we put half of a teaspoon. A big chunk of tomatoes in my mouth, and I'm probably gonna spit it out, so one second. See? <coughs> He's speechless. <laughs> speechless. <laughs> speechless. Okay, your 
You're rude, you're rude, you're rude. Give the taste a 6.8. Tomatoes, I would recommend that. If you literally just eat ketchup for breakfast, I'd recommend that. If you just drink salsa, I'd recommend that burger. But anything else, I'm gonna let Natalie decide on her own score. You make the patties too big. I don't know why I added that big piece of tomato. <laughs> Go make the piece of tomato. It's not bad. Not bad. The meat in low key is cooked really good, and that's about it. What? I'm not even being biased, but I'm being a little biased. Mmm. What? So, so you're being biased or not? Like I don't really understand. 7.5. 7.5. <laughs> <laughs> At least you're being realistic, you know? Yeah, I'm being honest. You're being honest. Okay, so I give Natalie about a 6.9. She gave herself a 7.5. Nothing too hard to beat, but this is how you make a nice burger. Let's get it. All right, guys, it's your boy's turn. Um, as you guys know, your boy is the not only a god in general, light skin god. I'm also the shrimp god. And low key, I'm a burger god, but I don't really eat red meat these days. As Natalie mentioned, we don't really have that, as you can tell by her burger. But, but your boy's gonna start off with a nice, the meat in the bowl. Natalie had it on the plate. Can't really season it that well. We're gonna add some garlic, some cayenne. You're literally using the exact same um, seasoning. It's the only right? seasonings we got, my girl. Black pepper, some onion powder, and some salt. Very seasoned. Natalie missed the season. She skipped the whole season. It's like a show. Your boy's a TV show. She, she skipped the whole season. Your boy's gonna add cheese to the burger right here. As you can see here, look at this. That's why, little pro tip, that's why your burger had a little vagina. A little cheese to stick it together. So, and Natalie's nails are too nice. She got the brightest nails in the game. So she's scared of like getting down and dirty as a chef. Dive work. Get, make a mess. She even played with the. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> I'm the best basketball player on YouTube. Oh, swish. All right, guys, boom. As you can see right here, two beautiful patties. No breakage. Come Those on. are so nice. How did you do that? Skill, my girl. Look at this. No, don't add the sound. Listen to it. <laughs> Listen to it. Come on. It's a little nice. Little nice. Let's add this little brother right there. You know, I see how I made them different because in life we ain't all the same. Embrace your differences, right? Correct? Yeah. Let's go. Quick little fried onions. The cook off. You have to show your bread. I would never, ever, ever, ever do this in real life. But buns are here. Boom, we're gonna put that in. Instead of the biggest piece of tomato I've ever seen, I'm gonna use another bun as the middle. A little Big Mac vibe. So you're wasting another one? We're wasting another one. Just to show you how, like. No! We're wasting another one. Don't throw it You don't need that. You don't always have to be safe, save your money, blah, blah, blah. No. We're cooking beautiful burgers out here. Look at this bun. Half burnt. Why did it toast like that? <laughs> Woo! Nice and dark on the inside. I don't know what's wrong with our toaster. As you can see here, it only cooks half. But for my, a, this is the light skin burger. Now that we have the reinforced, we got the half and half. Now come over here. As you can see, I'm pushing down. <laughs> Bomba clot. We're gonna take this off. This is done. Holy smokes. That is overdone, my friend. <laughs> no. It's okay to mess up sometimes no, as a I'm chef. Chilling, chilling. We're chilling. Look at that. That's how we like it. Crispy onions. Oh. Give it a little bit more flavor. You like that charcoal. But as you can see here, I'm pushing down, pushing down. Little, Ooh. little cleavage right here. Burgers are cooking full and through. Look at that. Oh my. God, these are amazing. We'll let these sit for a little bit. All right, guys, as Natalie was on TikTok, your boy prepared the toppings. But before we get to toppings, I just want to let you know that the burger is ready to plate. We're going to get our one bun here with a nice, juicy burger on top. Look. It kind of looks like mine. Kind of looks like yours? Yeah. Won't taste like yours. So let me go over here. We plate this one. We're going to add our avocado, crispy onions. All burnt. Mm hmm. Huh. Crispy. <laughs> then we're gonna add our regular onions. We're gonna add our tomato. It's all about the toppings. Look how beautiful your boy's doing this. Oh, so then the tomato. Hot. And we're gonna put nice little hot pepper. We need spice. Natalie's was all right. It was just meat though. Mm. Just like that. Get a little color in there. Can you stop eating my stuff please? Middle bun, as you can see here. So why did you choose the bottom bun as a middle bun? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're gonna put the other bun on top. And then layer it again. Add chipotle mayo on top. Is this a freaking cake? <laughs> <laughs> I thought mine was tall. Look at this tower. The middle bun's a little too big. It kind of does look like a cake. Like, then the secret ingredient, a bunch of lettuce. We don't care about the lettuce. I don't think anything's sticking on. We don't think on. it's gonna be a mess, okay? Bam! Come on! That's the, a double Krabby Patty. Look at this, look at this comparison. Come on, it's almost as big as my head. Oh my God, low key the middle bun kinda might be too much, but comment down below what you think of your boy's burger. 
I went with the nice little fried onions, the regular onions, the cheese, the lettuce. But, now you gotta try it first. You were more quiet than usual. Usually you have a lot of roast to say. I felt like you knew what you were doing and even if you didn't, I believe that you knew what you were doing. Mm -hmm. oh, huh. Gosh, come on. Okay, you're ruining it. So it looks, <laughs> what did you give it? Okay, well, you remember what it looked like. <laughs> what do you give it for looks? Uh, before, okay? 7.5. 7.5? <laughs> I just think the middle, it's too much bread. Like, it, where's You haven't eye? eaten it. You haven't you eaten it. It looks. It looks. <laughs> Not what it looks like it's gonna taste like. Like, what okay. appealing wise. You think the bun's too big? Yeah. 7.5, okay. Oh, I see. Like, if I had frosting, I can literally make <laughs> this a little cake. Okay, okay. Now, how about the taste? Let's go, let's go in for a bite. <laughs> you see? <laughs> you gotta make this realistic, Ryan. Whose mouth is that big? <laughs> It's a two bite thing, bro. Come on. Ooh, she got a nice little bite. <laughs> Here comes the worst food reviewer in the game. She just nods her head and says, no. Mm. Give us, tell us about the burger. Oh, second bite is always good. Second bite is always good. Very, very good. What? The amount of lettuce on it. Mm-hmm. Makes it feel mm, more earthy. Okay, guys, comment down below what? descriptive words so Natalie will learn for the next cook-off. <laughs> Honestly, the onions taste really good. <laughs> oh yeah, I thought they were burnt. Yeah, burnt, but I like burnt stuff. <laughs> Very good. I have one complaint. Mm -hmm. Too much cheese. Too much cheese. Yeah. Okay. I feel like if you didn't put the cheddar on top, it would have been a 9.5. Ooh, so with the cheddar, what do you give it? An overall score? 9.5, take away, uh, 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 too much bread. <laughs> nine. A nine! So the looks was a 7.5 and the taste was a 9? Mine was the other way around, no? No, you did not get no 9. You got a 6.9. We gotta work on our space, as you can see here. We gotta kinda work on our kitchen area. We gotta, go, we gotta <laughs> kinda work on our <laughs> On a videographer job, DM your boy at Ryan Swade on IG. Your boy needs some help. As you can tell, we need to work on our space. There you go. And now it's time to taste the burger. We're teaching, we're learning. You don't have to zoom into my hands when I clap. But it's your boy's turn to taste this. This is easily one bite. I think I could put this whole thing in my mouth. Don't do that. I won't do that. That's disgusting. But here goes nothing. Yeah, that was some. Mm. 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 <laughs> Baby girl. Baby girl. What's, What's my, my name? name? I don't know what my name is. I'm gonna buy whoever made this burger a drink. AKA, I'm gonna buy myself a drink because goddamn, very juicy. I think Natalie is right. Could have went without the middle bun. Kind of just made it look more of a cake vibe, but it was juicy. I cooked that beef. Amazing. If you ever want to make a meatloaf, follow Natalie's recipe. If you want to make the next That's because burger. it was filled with fat with the cheese and all the olive oil and stuff. It's all about the taste, okay? <laughs> yeah? It's not about what it does right now. In, in life, don't be eating this every day. You heard it from literally the worst judge ever. We got Natalie saying it was a 9. So I'm going to also give it a 9.5 just because. Why are you giving a 0.5? Just because I need a little room to grow. Because in life, you always have to grow. You always have to get better. You're it telling me that cake got a 9.5? <laughs> And that big old freaking three, four, five buns with a little <laughs> burger on the side. Comment down below whose burger you like more. Once again, comment the top comment. We will do a cook off. So look at the comments, comment, share this with a friend, make them like your comment, and me and Natalie will do a cook off. But I think it's one nothing. We're gonna keep score. It's one nothing. I don't know. Burger was very nicely presented, nicely tasteful, and it was pretty, pretty nice. So next, I'll win that one. I promise you. Peace.